say something. Turn them in. As family mourns the loss of a loved one, they are calling for accountability for the person behind the wheel of a hit and run crash. That is our big story tonight at five. A huge clue released today as police search for the driver who killed a 23 year old man in a hit and run early Sunday morning. Police releasing pictures of the truck right there that they are looking for. Our Aaron Maven live near the crash site where a vigil is planned for a little bit later tonight. Aaron. Hey there, Ted and Mary. Milwaukee police say a driver hit Xavier Davis near this intersection right by Pfizer Forum early Sunday morning and then took off. Tonight, Milwaukee police investigators and a heartbroken family are hoping that driver turns himself in. Xavier had the brightest smile. He could light up a room. A bright light with an old soul. He was my joy, my sunshine. That's how Gloria Shaw remembers her son, Xavier Casanova Davis. He was a lover of fashion and shoes, and he was just getting into travel. Davis died after a hit and run crash around 1230 Sunday morning. Police say the victim was in the crosswalk near six in Juneau when a truck ran a red light and hit him. Milwaukee police shared these pictures of a black pickup truck they say is involved. Shaw wants anyone with information to speak up. I just need this person or somebody in a family to say something to turn them in. Officers are searching for a 2021 to 2022 black Dodge Ram with amber lights in the hood scoop and flashing lights on both side mirrors. Police say the truck should have front end damage. Being mad can't bring them back. But he's here. Xavier's mother says he was a light of her life. Now she has a message for the person who took him away. We don't know why you did it, but I forgive you. I forgive you. Davis's mom says he wanted to be a photojournalist and travel the world. Now family members are planning a funeral. They also are scheduled to have a balloon release tonight at 7. We're live in Milwaukee at 6 in Juneau. Aaron Maven, Fox 6 News. And we will be there for that. Aaron, thank you.